Hey guys, it's Emma here at Curious Knits and I finally have a project complete video for you for the waistcoat. This was a long time coming, part because it's something I've never done before, so there was lots of uh, different instructions for the pattern that I've never done before, so it was just a learning process, in part just because I wasn't enjoying it that much, um, so I was like putting it aside and doing other things or whatever, but it's finally done. Um, I will go through with you all the uh, mistakes that have been done in it. So uh, here it is all in its glory. It's all been made up and joined up and everything. I'll put like pictures up on the screen of like the progress. I took quite a few pictures when I was making it just of the different stages. But yes, this is it. The armholes, everything. The problems are, I'll start with the, the, the main one um, that happened when I was making the end of this is that I ran out of wool. Um, so this uh, was a kit that I got and it had all the wool in it and the instructions and all of that things. Uh, here are the instructions and you have the option to make it size wise from like a 10 up to a, what, a size 20. So I made the size 12 and I still ran out of wool. So don't know how that works. Uh, when the pattern is specifically always saying, do this loosely, do that loosely, blah, 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 and then doesn't give me enough wool to even make a size 12. But hey, whatever. So uh, basically yeah, I ran out of the this blue, the light blue. So when I was finishing this off, where is the middle bit here? Yeah, so when I was finishing this off, this is like the border bit that you do pretty much at the end on both sides. And you do kind of like half to the middle of the back of the work and then you do the other half and then you join it up. So for this bit, I had like all the front border bit, I had the enough wool, I had the blue, and you do a couple of lines of the gray just at the end, perfect, it was all done. But by the time I finished that and I was gone to this side, I had a tiny bit of the light blue left. So what I did was I used the, like, the darker blue at the bottom, which uh, had like a little ball of it left, but again, not that much, so I used that for uh, the, the other side in the middle, but then I ran out of that as well. So then I used the blue, so you can maybe maybe see here that there's that's the dark blue and then that's the light blue when I literally run out of everything and I only managed a few rows of that and then it was done as well. And instead of kind of continuing on with the gray, which I could have done because there's loads of the gray for whatever reason, I mean it is the body of the the waistcoat, but yeah, there was loads of grey. So I could have, if I wanted to, I could have done that and carried on, but I was like, you know what? It's, it's a bit of, I've, I've made a few mistakes already, so this isn't going to be going anywhere. It's just gonna uh, sit in a box, probably, to be honest. So let's just end it and do the little, uh, the two rows of grey and just finish it. And that's it, I couldn't do anymore. <laughs> and the other main uh, mistake that I had made is the armholes. One of them is much bigger than the other one. So um, as I say, I will, I'll put some pictures up here um, of the armholes on my like mannequin uh, just to show you. But um, yeah, I think one of the, the side pieces, which is this, this bit here, where you're working on um, the armholes and also like the neck, around the neck and everything, I think on one of them, what I had done, and I didn't notice this until it was done, so I'm not sure how I managed to do this, but I did, uh, I did like the scoop bit on the wrong side of the work. Uh, so when I finished it and I cast off and everything, I noticed that on one side there was like the scoop was there, but then there was like a bit of a bump, and then the rest of the scoop, and there wasn't really a scoop on the other side where there should have been. So I think that bump is because I did something on the wrong side. Uh, but yeah, so that was already that was like first couple of pieces of, of work you do are the, the front two sides. So uh, yeah, that went well. No, it's, but yeah, this is it. Um, I'm wearing a long sleeve top so that I can put this on and just show you guys, but it's really hot. So <laughs> this will just be a quick show of what it looks like on. So the other thing, the last thing was that there's a, you know, it comes with a, a button to sew on, but for whatever reason, I don't know, lost in transit, I don't have the button. It might be in the back of my cupboard somewhere, I'll have a look. Um, but yeah, there's no button. So at the moment there is no uh, button to button this together. I can easily just get one somewhere. Um, and there was a part of this that's supposed to be like a buttonhole um, that I knitted, but I can't really 
find it. So uh, yeah, I'll just, I, if I do get a button, I'll just make that up as I go along. But yeah, that is it on, as you can see. And the armholes is, uh, the, I think this is the smaller one. And then this is the bigger one. I can't actually see from on here. Uh, but yeah, as I say, there will be pictures to show you. But yeah, this is the waistcoat. It's finally done. It doesn't look perfect, but it's finally done. And now I know how to do it. I will probably do it again, but with completely different wool. Because as I said in my uh, progress video, this specifically the uh, the grey was really hard to work with because it's all loops and whirls and my needles kept going into all the, the loops and whirls on the, the grey and not through to the actual like thread. So I think I will grab a different wool at some point and do it again because now I know how to do it, it's not so scary. Like I had never done this before. So I think for me never having done this before, I am actually quite happy with how it turned out. It's not a complete disaster. It does actually look like a waistcoat. <laughs> you can tell it's that. So I am happy with that. But yeah, as I say, the, the instructions, like I'd never done anything like this before. There's there's a lot to go through. Um, so I'm glad, I, I'm glad I've done it. But yeah, as I say, if I do it again, I will definitely pick different wool that you can actually see the, the the pattern in because you can't really see anything in this and the the like the the front pieces these bits at the end that I was mentioning before you're supposed to be um like picking up and knitting these so like this has all been cast off I'm not on needles anymore but you have to use your needle and just go in and physically put on stitches which again I've never done so I'd look that up um, and and they sh there was a there was a good video. I'll link it down below if I can find it again. Uh, that showed you how to do it. But that video, it was using just like regular wool that you can see the whole pattern in. So they show you exactly where to go in to pick up these stitches to make it look right. You can't see any of that on this grey though. So I was just like, by this point, I was just done. So I was just like, let's just let's just make it up as we go along. So I was just going along at it. Um, it says like how many stitches you're supposed to pick up at each bit and I was like, no, let's just let's just do this. Let's just keep going. It's gonna be fine, whatever. And it did actually work. Um, you know, you can't tell compared to the like the video I watched it. I don't think you can tell like that there's that I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. So I'm quite sure for that. But yeah, I think with another uh, like normal wool that I normally work with, and you, you'll see that in my other projects, um, I think that would be much easier to do. Uh, one, it would be easier to knit with, and two, it would be easier to see where I'm actually supposed to be going in to pick up these stitches. So yes, there may be another one of these on the channel at some point, but not anytime soon. I have a couple more scarves I'm wanting to work on lately, and I'm really excited about them, so you will see a video about them in the future at some point. It's actually with a pattern that I've already used though, so I won't make a whole uh, you know, new project progress video, complete video, but when I've done them, I will show them on the channel because I'm really excited about them. And uh, yeah, that's it for the waistcoat, guys. <laughs> so leave any comments below, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.